Hey guys, it is Jared Mo with a, another video. Today we are doing a video on all of the items on Adaraxia that are custom um, and all of them that aren't custom but have custom effects and custom bonuses and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to run through them all. Uh, there will be a couple of sections. Uh, hopefully I figured out how to um, split up the video uh, like professionals and you can skip to the sections and I'll leave like a timestamp but the main sections will be like experience boosting items, drop rate boosting items, damage boosting items, then there's just going to be a big old miscellaneous section. Uh, we will start with experience boosting items. Okay, first up we have Hunter. This volcanic trapper outfit, if you have this, it'll give you that nice set bonus, but what is the uh, experience boost is if you have this outfit, you'll get 6%. Um, so if you're equipping this outfit, you'll get 6%. Uh, if you only have a couple of pieces, it'll be 1% 1, 1 per piece. That's just an example of what kind of experience boost you can get. There are obviously a lot of outfits like that. You can buy them over here at um, what was previously known as Zhuan. Um, or Yuan. I don't know how you'd pronounce it in Chinese. but um, He sells all of the outfits. Um, so you can check here and you can buy those for loyalty points so as you can see here's an agility one a construction one a cooking one crafting divination farming and then in the second shop herb law hunter mining prayer rune crafting blacksmithing and then finally summoning thieving lumber and lumber uh, wood cutting, fishing, fire making, and fletching. So you can use all of these outfits um, and they will give you up to 6% bonus experience. A lot of these outfits have those elite skilling outfit versions such as the volcanic trapper and then there's like garage Gorajan trailblazer um, and then there's like a sentinel one for wood cutting, a shark one for fishing and those outfits also grant the uh, bonus experience if you have these relevant outfits. Um, they don't give them themselves, you'll have to have the outfits. Okay, so next up we have s just some random stuff. Um, Perfect Juju Prayer. So if you drink this you'll get 5% bonus experience uh, for prayer while using a Gilded Altar. This lasts 60 minutes. Um, Furthermore, if you have the House Extraordinaire perk um, and you're using Gilded Altar, you'll receive 20% bonus experience. Um, on top of that, every single perk that is attached to a skill will grant bonus experience. So just an ex an ex as an example, um, cooking is convincing cook, wood cutting is lumber legend, fletching is master fledger. Fishing is Master Fisherman, Fire Making is the Pyromaniac, Crafting is Delicate Craftsman, Smithing is Alchemic Smithing, Mining is Master Miner, Herbler is Herbivore, Agility is Endless Energy, Thieving is Sleight of Hand, Farming is Green Thumb, Ring Crafting is Imbued Focus, Hunter is Huntsman, Summoning is Familiar Expert, Dungeoneering is Dungeons Master, and Divination is Dedicated Divination. They all grant 15% bonus experience towards that skill. Furthermore, if you sip a perfect juju smithing, you'll get plus 5% double progress, and you'll also get plus 15% experience. If you drink a perfect juju herb lore potion, you'll get plus 5%, oh no. This says plus 5%, but you will get plus 15% experience when drinking this potion. With these two god potions, there is Saradomant Blessing and Zamorax Favor. Um, these say they're exclusive to Herb Law Habitat, however, these are skill wide, so you'll get 10% bonus farming experience and 10% bonus hunter experience for 6 minutes per sip. If you sip the Perfect Juju Dungeoneering Potion, you'll not only receive all of those, you will also receive plus 10% bonus Dungeoneering experience for 240 minutes, which is what, 4 hours? Now for the globals, if the well, uh, the goodwill is um, active, which costs 100 mil, I'm not going to do it, but that will give you 1.5 times experience, and it's multiplicative um, for one point uh, for two hours. 
if you use an event token and you select the triple experience everyone will get triple experience for one hour um, and all Iron Man accounts will receive 2x instead. Furthermore, if you are using the Wisdom Aura, you'll receive 5% bonus experience while it's active. The Supreme Wisdom Aura will give you 10% bonus experience while it's active and the Legendary Wisdom Aura will give you 15% bonus experience when it's active. Now, if you have um, some donated on your account. So for example, on this account, I have 1250 donated. Um, that means I'm a master member. Um, we'll start from the bottom though. If you have $20 donated, you're a bronze member. And if you have, uh, if you are a bronze member, you'll get 5% bonus experience. If you're a platinum member, you'll receive 10% bonus experience. This is just globally um, for every skill. If you're a diamond member, you'll receive 15% extra bonus experience and if you're a master member you'll receive 20% bonus experience however all of these require you to vote in the last 24 hours so if you have not voted in the last 24 hours you will not receive that passive bonus experience for your donor rank now these two items give you global bonus experience as well the skilling backpack which you can get from skilling contracts or you can buy it um, from the skilling contract reward shop gives you 5% bonus experience when equipped and the skilling backpack advanced is the same and you can get it from the same places and it gives you 10% bonus experience when equipped. Now for the distinction capes, the max cape gives you 10% bonus experience when equipped, the completionist cape gives you 12.5% bonus experience when equipped and the completionist cape trimmed gives you 15% bonus experience when equipped. Finally for the experience the skilling booster lamp, these can be purchased from the store. Um, I believe they're for what, $2 each. Um, if you rub them, you'll then get a lamp containing two different skills that you can select. Um, and when you select it, you'll receive 20% bonus experience in that skill for the next hour. Now it does say 30 minutes. I have fixed this so when it um, we go live with the next update it will say 60 minutes because it is 60 minutes and we changed that quite a while ago um, you can use as many as these want um, and you can just stack them endlessly uh, yep as you can see and they even go over 60 minutes so um, that it concludes all of the experience boosting um, things in Adaraxia this appear now for now for the drop rate um, boosting section, there is a fair few things here. So bear in, um, bear with me. So the first thing we'll just check out is the God Wars boost. Oh no. Okay, so this token, when red, will grant you 60 minutes of increased rare loot from God Wars One and Two. Um, simple as that. And now we'll get into the global effectors. The new event, uh, which is drop rate boost, will give you plus 25% drop rate um, globally. So everyone will receive that. And then for some of the ones you can equip, the perfect ring will give you, oh sorry, the ring of luck. Um, where's that? Let me rearrange a bit. The ring of luck will give you uh, plus 0.5% drop rate. The Ring of Wealth, both of them, uh, will give you one plus one percent drop rate. Ring of Fortune will give you plus one point five percent drop rate. Luck of Dwarves will give you three percent drop rate. And the Hazelmere's Signet Ring will give you plus five percent. Now these are all the same um, if you harness the relic in your archaeology um, stone thingy. Um, so, in theory, if you were to equip a Hazelmere Signet Ring and you had a Luck of the Dwarves um, harnessed, uh, you will then get 8%. If you are a Master Member, so if you have $1,000 donated, you will receive an extra 7.5% uh, drop rate. If you're a Diamond Member, you'll receive an extra 5% drop rate. If you're a Platinum Member, it'll be 2.5%, Gold, 2%, Silver, 1.5%, and Bronze, 1%. If you claim a vote, you will receive an extra 10% for 3 hours, and if you have donated, 
you'll also receive an extra 10% for 3 hours. And finally, if you equip a max cape, you'll receive an extra 5%. If you equip a completionist cape, you'll receive an extra... Oh, sorry, I misspoke. If you wear a completionist cape, you'll receive an extra 5%. If you wear a completionist cape T, you'll receive an extra 10%. The max cape does not currently have any bonuses. That concludes the drop rate section. We'll next get into all of the items that can, or uh, all the items and things in Adaraxia that can potentially boost your damage. Now, for this section, I'm not going to gonna get into the individual stuff like uh, Balmung versus Dagnoth. This is purely global damage boosts for damage. First up, we have the Auras, Berserker, Reckless, and Maniacal. Mania Maniacal? Ma Maniacal. Um, this boosts your melee damage by 10%, your range damage by 10%, and your magic damage by 10%. When having two or more pieces of tectonic equipped, serenic equipped, malevolent equipped, or masterwork equipped, you'll deal 10% extra damage. And if you have two or more uh, pieces of the elite tectonic, the elite serenic, or the trimmed masterwork pieces equipped, you'll deal 15% extra damage. Furthermore, if you have the extra damage um, event active, you'll everyone will d deal 30% extra damage globally. If you have voted in the last 12 hours, or if you claim a vote, sorry, you'll receive extra 10% uh, extra damage, uh, and if you donate or claim a donation, you'll receive an extra 10%. Those two also stack, so if you vote and donate, you'll receive 20%. I believe it is for 6 hours for the voting and 3 hours for the donating. And I'm not going to spawn all of the pieces because it'll just take way too long, but if you are equipping regular void, you'll deal 5% extra damage. If you're equipping superior void, you'll deal 7% extra damage. And if you have superior elite void, you'll deal 7% extra damage as well. We'll now quickly go through all of the miscellane miscellaneous items on Adaraxia that you might not know what they do or where to get them. Okay, so the Sears Headband 3 can be uh, received from the completion of all of the easy uh, achievements, um, and then you can use that to create the enhanced Excalibur. The ripped fabric can be received from the medium achievement completions. Um, and then you can use that to create a Crystal Triskelion bag, which will hold all of your fragments. The Crystal Tr Triskelion 15 um, is 15 Triskelions combined. And then when you use this on the wall, uh, instead it will roll 15 different rewards, instead of having to do one by one. This is just for a speed thing and quality of life. Same thing with the Crystal G, uh, Crystal Key G, you can combine this on the combination interface, um, uh, the same as the Crystal Triskelion uh, 15. Crystal Key G combines 50 keys and you can use 50 at a time. The Grim Reaper Hood can be bought from Death um, if you have a Grim Gem. You can activate this, talk about Reaper tasks, and see his shop, Reaper Point Shop. Uh, and then you can buy the Grim Reaper hood from there. This Grim Reaper hood um, increases your damage on Reaper tasks, similarly to how a Slayer mask um, increases your damage on a Slayer task. So this will grant you 15% extra damage while killing the monster you are assigned uh, for your Reaper task. And then the Harold's Helmet, which can be combined using a Corrupted Slayer Helmet, which is the highest tier, and a Grim Reaper Hood, um, will grant both of the bonuses. So when you equip this, it will work for Slayer tasks and for Reaper tasks. Okay, and finally, a couple of um, relatively new custom items. The Amulet Farming, which can be bought from the shop or the vote or trivia shop. Um, this will just allow you to teleport to a bunch of different... Um, patches uh, around Adaraxia. Very convenient for farming. The name change scroll can be bought from the shop or the uh, shop in-game. 
um, this can be redeemed with me and I will change your login name permanently as long as you have both accounts. The donation transfer scroll when using this on another person you can transfer all of your donations um, and doing so will then permanently ban your account so this will transfer all cosmetics all of your perks and all of your donation total but will result in your account being banned uh, alternatively you can use the donation total transfer scroll which you can use on another player to transfer purely your donation total um, up to $250 but your account won't be banned. The game mode switching scroll um, you can switch to an easier game mode or you can switch to a harder game mode so if I'm currently 25x if I switch to realism it'll divide all of my experience by 25 um, and if I switch to normal it'll times all my experience by 2. Finally the Adaraxia T70 set this was added recently. Um, you can buy this for 100 mil in game, or you can buy it from the trivia shop, the vote shop, or you can buy it from the store for $15. Um, this has some pretty good stats. It's equivalent to um, God Wars Dungeon 1 uh, gear, but it's for all um, styles. And then obviously the Asylum Surgeon Ring as well. So you can equip this, um, and then you can use this as your. Um, PVM set for a while. Um, I think that in, well, concludes most of, if not all, of the custom items um, around Adaraxia. I hope it helped. Um, I'm sure there's a few that I missed, but if I did miss them, they're not as important or um, not too important for the main idea of this, which is the items that you should probably try seek get because they give you passive bonuses that you would have would not have known 